Hi, I'm Phil Purcell with Dave Wilson Nursery, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about pluots. Now, how do you get a pluot? What a pluot is, is actually a combination of a plum and an apricot, thus pluot. Now, it's basically uh, plum parentage. It's about 70% plum, and it's about 30% apricot. So you're thinking, well, how do you get that? So what the Zager family does is that they've taken a plum and apricot and crossed it. They're both stone fruit, so they have their pollen compatible. And actually everything is hand pollenized over at their uh, location in Modesto, California. They use little tiny paint brushes and take the pollen from, from plum, go ahead and put it into uh, an apricot. They take that seed that's, that's, that's generated and they grow that onto a, uh, a tree, which then they go ahead and graft onto um, another tree. Uh, Floyd Zager is the father of the pluot. He decided, well, if he can do this with the pluot, well, maybe he can do the same thing and get more intense flavors into apricots. So he took that first generation of plum and apricot, and he started back crossing into other apricots. And he came up with what's known as an aprium. So now this is becoming an interspecific fruit. They're all the same uh, genus, so the pollen's all intercompatible. And he, he, he is now developing even more interesting fruits. We have a fruit known as the picatum, which is actually peach, apricot, and plum parentage. Uh, we now have what's known as our new fruit this year, which is a pluary. And a pluary is a cross between a plum and a cherry. Basically what it is, it's a small plum that has a lot of cherry characteristics. Now everything that he does is hand hybridized by his, his workers over there in, in Modesto. So there's no genetic modification whatsoever. It's just old. What, well, what Floyd Zager and his family's doing with the hybridization is that he's speeding up process of what Mother Nature would normally do by itself. Now it might take Mother Nature uh, three, four hundred years to get the same cross-pollinization that Floyd is doing on his own. And in fact, if you go into his office, he has books and books of all the different cross-pollinizations that he's done. 